Hi guys, Glader here. So today is New Year's, and Happy New Year's. But yesterday, on New Year's Eve, I did a 14-hour stream about building Dalaran in Unity 3D, specifically for VR chat. And so, if you weren't there, or if you only caught the beginning, this is sort of where we are with Dalaran. And it's coming together surprisingly quicker than I had anticipated. I expected there to be a lot of difficulties, and there are, and there are going to be a lot of future difficulties. But all in all, uh, I think the process of bringing stuff in and importing it into Unity, I've, I've improved that process, and I've been able to get the time down quite a bit. But as you can see, it's still incomplete. There's a lot of incomplete stuff. I haven't even touched the trade district. I'm slowly going around into each room and working on each little thing, which requires significant attention to materials. Uh, additionally, it requires attention to re-import things that are missing animations, for example, in here. I wanted to make it a little bit more alive, and so I'm trying to bring in everything animated. And that is, of course, problematic because... Oh, I think these are supposed to be glowing. Because that requires you to re-import everything one by one with the animations that you want. But we've got things a bit more lively. We've got a train set that barely works. Just don't look too close at it. We've got these bouncing blimps. I hope that these, you know, bring bring the scene more alive. And going forward, I'm going to try to do that more with any level that I do. But yeah, you can see the whole of Dalaran is here. At least the surface level. And while very incomplete looking, it is... You know, it's like, it's usable, but it's not finished. It's not finished to the quality that I personally want. If you go back and look at the VR chat in, or you look at the VR chat Valhalla, that's the sort of quality that I want Dalaran to have, and it's, it's not there yet. Hopefully it can get there. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll be working on this throughout the week to hopefully get it up. And I guess I'll leave you guys with some cinematic shots that I can... I've been playing a little bit around. I don't usually do this, but with uh, color grading, and you can get some real cinematic looking shots like this, which I think look really nice. Oops, that doesn't look nice. These look, uh, to me, these look like the sort of renders you'd see. And I think that's because color grading is typically used in film or renders, and not usually at least for me, I don't usually use it for games. A lot of people do use it for games. And it looks great. Uh, and you can play around with this. I, I had the idea of, but VRChat doesn't allow you to mess with post, the post stack when you're... It uh, doesn't expose it in any way that you can modify it at runtime. But I kind of wanted to like recreate the Ronin Dalaran event for Algalon. Because I think uh, this uh, this grading really allows you to do that. Obviously not that bright, but with, with the with the color grading, you're able to achieve some of the effects with relative ease that they sort of did in Dalaran when the, when it sort of changes color and sends the reply code. But yeah, this is just rambling nonsense at this point. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll, I'll try to have some updates about this as soon as I have them, and I might be even streaming again today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.